Hey everyone, it's Mia and this video is going to be moving to Bath or I should probably say moving back to Bath for my final year of uni. It is about 9.30 and I am going to drive down to Bath. It's going to take like two hours. I've got all my stuff in the back. This car is so full and so heavy. Um, I have done this before though, like taken everything myself in the car so hopefully I'll be fine but I'm literally so excited to get to Bath. Uni starts on the 3rd of October but we've got our house now so I thought I'll put all my stuff in there and spend some time there. I'm going to be like between there and home for August and September and then fully there in October for the uni year. Oh I forgot to say as well that I moved out of my London flat yesterday which I didn't vlog just because it wasn't that interesting. Obviously it was an end of an era, but it's more exciting to move in somewhere than move out of somewhere. So that's why I thought I'll just vlog this. But yeah, I've moved out of London. Um, hopefully we'll be back at some point. Just parked outside, we're gonna go in now. Oh my gosh, it's so oh my gosh, it's so nice. Ah. We have just ordered some pizza. This is our little balcony, and you are not ready for the view. Oh my gosh, I actually can't believe this is our view from our house. Like it's literally sunny. This room is gonna be so good for the vlogs. I just feel like this is such a big house. Like there's five of us girls living here, so, and all the rooms are fairly big. So yeah, like five of these rooms this size, and then the kitchen, living room, that's one room, uh, and bathroom. Like it is such a big house. And it's not even expensive, well, it's not like more expensive than average in Bath. It was 520 a month, so. Not bad, really, and I'm very happy with it. So now I'm gonna decorate and unpack everything. what everything is looking like so far so I've just got white bed sheets I also have some pillows which are in the lounge at the moment I don't know where the like what pillows I want this year it's really annoying about the color of the wall I don't know if you can see this as well but there's like marks on the wall it looks worse on the camera than in real life but I don't know I kind of want to paint the walls but at the same time that would be a big job they're quite big walls this mantelpiece is so nice thinking I'm gonna take away the pink print and change it for something else and have more of a black green white color scheme I'm thinking also of getting new candles because I don't know if you can see but they look more blue compared to the green in the fireplace which I obviously can't change so I'm gonna get some new candles which are really cheap obviously just the stick not the just the candle, not the stick, is what I mean. I think I'm gonna add more black. So obviously I've got an elements of black, but I think I want some more black across 
the room just because I think I want to go more like bougie vibes this year. Obviously at the moment this is looking very kind of cute and spring vibes and I think I just want something a bit more slick and this aesthetic I love and this aesthetic I love so I want like the room to be giving this energy I think these perfumes will help with that because these kind of look a bit bougie we are going into town to get some stuff for my room well not just that but just like have a look around I really want to get some flowers and some more decorations to the shelves because like there's really nothing on them there's so many shelves um but yeah super excited I'm so excited to go into bath again as well like I have been fairly recently but not for like a while so I just I really enjoy shopping in bath it's so cute <laughs> Here's what's in the trolley so far. I don't know why we got a trolley. It's just nice to push around. But I've got a mini baking tray, olive oil, coffee, some cards, uh, a plant. Oh my gosh, this plant is so cute. I think that's so nice. And six pound, I thought that was quite good. I love this teapot. Very nice color. Oh, I really want this as well. Nice. That is really nice actually. Gorgeous. Is that licorice? No, I don't think it's darling. It's a bit later on and I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's, like the big Sainsbury's, get some food bits. I'd also really like some flowers for my room, so I'm gonna take you with me. Steven, not me. Not me saying that I was going to be healthy from now on, but I bought two packs of ice creams. <laughs> um, I just couldn't resist because I had these Cornettos on holiday and they were so good. I mean, I tried them before, but it just re-inspired me. And then I've just seen them come out with mini vegan magnums and I couldn't resist. So, lots of ice cream to keep me going. I'll put these in the freezer right now, actually. I've got loose salt and pepper because I'm thinking I want to get, like, really cute little pots with, like, a mini spoon so we can, like, spoon the seasoning into the food because this past year I've had, like, salt and pepper grinders and I'm so fed up with them because it's not enough. Like, I'm keeping going like this and I need more. So, it's better for me to have this and just, like, sprinkle it in. These are new. Honestly, it's, like, the new stuff that got me. Um, caramel cups. Obsessed. Well, I've not tried them yet. Noodles because I'm going to make stuff right tonight. Some lentils because me, Ella and Tia made this amazing Greek salad. And it's the dressing that made it. It was like a Greek dressing. It was like loads of nice stuff. But um, we put lentils in it. So I'm going to have Greek salads with lentils. Frozen raspberries. I use these for porridge. Lemons for the Greek salad. Tomatoes for the Greek salad. For the Greek salad. For the Greek salad, for the stir fry, for the stir fry sauce, this is like a natural sweetener. It's probably no better for you than other sweetener, but I just like to have it anyway. And some mango, I actually forgot I got this, I got this at the very start. I didn't actually have any good homeware, also it was very expensive, it was like, I saw this nice mirror and it, it, was, it wasn't even a full length mirror, it was like a square mirror, 48 quid, Sainsbury's. Calm down, hun. I just got some tissues for my room and I'm so happy with these because you guys saw my drawer organizers and they're like, there's some ones that are like this size and one of them I'm not using so I'm gonna replace the one that I'm not using with this and it's gonna fit perfectly. And I'm just 
can't wait and the last thing i got is some flowers i absolutely adore these flowers i was trying to get baby's breath i i'm not sure if that's the name or if i've made that up in my head but i swear those little white ones that like usually are put in with other flowers i thought they were called baby's breath i'm not sure why i thought that i hope they are called that but i wanted them they didn't have them so this is the next best thing it's actually getting colder i'm feeling autumn looming which i'm kind of excited for